While Lyme disease is the most common tick-borne illness, ticks can transmit other bacteria, causing various co-infections, which can be difficult to diagnose. In an article titled Triple Tick Attack, Kumar and colleagues described the case of a 74-year-old woman living in Connecticut who developed three tick-borne diseases from a single tick bite. The woman, an avid gardener, had a history of COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and high blood pressure. She was admitted to the hospital with dyspnea, fatigue, and a productive cough with yellowish mucoid sputum. The patient also presented with significant altered mental status, pallor, and peripheral edema. A lung examination revealed bilateral crackles. Initially, she was treated empirically for a community-acquired pneumonia with ceftriaxone and azithromycin. Despite having no history of a rash or tick bite, lab tests later revealed the presence of three tick-borne pathogens, Babesia, Lyme disease, and anaplasmosis. Her Babesia parasite load was extremely high in that 9.04% of her red blood cells necessitated a red blood cell transfusion. She was started on azithromycin and atovaquone, but repeat testing found the parasite load remained high at 6.5% of the red cells having a Babesia and a second round of RBC exchange was required. Her treatment was then changed to clindamycin, quinine, and doxycycline for a total of 14 days. The authors suggest that patients presenting with an atypical critical, atypical clinical presentation of a single pathogen or lack of improvement with antibiotics after 48 hours requires further testing for the presence of other infections. A delay in diagnosis can lead to an increased risk of complications and disease duration. The patient's symptoms resolve completely following treatment with doxycycline, atovaquone, and azithromycin.